Hi, my name is Michael Carter. I'm a lead software engineer with InstaCluster, and today I'm going to be talking about deployment strategies for the Kafka Schema Registry. Now, with an InstaCluster managed Apache Kafka cluster, you can deploy the Schema Registry as an add on to your cluster. Now, this is a tool that will help you to ensure that all of your Kafka messages are created and consumed using known formats. When you provision a cluster with the Schema Registry, regardless of the size of your Kafka cluster, you'll get three Schema Registry nodes and one DNS name that will point to all three of the nodes. The Schema Registry nodes will be automatically set up to store their Schema information in your managed cluster. So all you need to do to begin using your Schema Registry is configure your Kafka producers and consumers to point to the newly created DNS name. Now this setup is great for small or self-contained uh, Kafka clusters because you don't have to deploy any separate servers for your schema registry. It's very simple and you automatically get redundancy built in through the multiple schema registry nodes provided. It doesn't matter which of the three nodes you contact, you'll be dealing with the same set of schemas as all of the nodes are backed by the same Kafka cluster. But what happens when you have multiple Kafka clusters? Do you need to have a schema registry on each cluster? Well, you certainly can do that if you want to, and it may make sense to do this if your Kafka clusters are unrelated to each other and you wish to ensure separation of the management of these clusters. So an example might be if your business has different departments using InstaCluster managed Kafka clusters and they don't need to share any schema information. But this model has the downside that since using the Kafka schema registry incurs an additional percentage-based charge per cluster, you may end up paying more than you need to. So more likely, for multiple Kafka clusters, a central schema registry will be the way to go. And this is the model that we recommend for complex Kafka setups. So in this model, the schema registry is deployed as its own cluster, and the producers and consumers for all your other Kafka clusters are simply configured to use this central schema registry. Now this model has a range of benefits, such as it easily allows sharing of schemas throughout your business domain. And this is essential in complex data pipelines that use multiple Kafka clusters, or when you need absolute confidence that the data models you're reading and writing to Kafka match those used in the rest of your systems and or business units. Another key benefit of this model is that it separates the workload of your Kafka clusters from your schema registry, so they can fail separately. And this means if one of your Kafka clusters gets heavily loaded or fails for some reason, it isn't going to affect your producers and consumers in dealing with the other clusters. Now there are also some price advantages. Now you might be thinking, how can paying for a whole cluster just for schema registry have price advantages? Well, first off, typically we'd expect the workload on a schema registry to be much lower than that of a normal Kafka cluster. So separating it out into its own cluster gives you the option of choosing the smallest possible node sizes that will support your use of the schema registry. And smaller node sizes cost less. Another key benefit comes in the fact that there is an additional percentage-based charge for using the Kafka schema registry, and by centralizing it onto a small cluster, you only have to pay that charge once, and the percentage will be calculated on what is most likely to be your cheapest cluster rather than your most expensive cluster. So there you have it. We have a few different models of deploying the Kafka schema registry on your InstaCluster managed clusters, depending on your use case. I hope this video has helped you find the model that is right for you. And if you'd like any more information on this, please visit our website www.instacluster.com.